Is there a day that goes by without you either taking a photograph or looking at photographs? In GCSE Photography, we learn about the world of photography and video. Most of the work we do is in two areas. The first is still life and we have a wide range of objects to photograph. The other is portraiture and whilst we might start off by taking photographs of each other just to get started in a conventional way, With the use of editing software, we can turn fairly straightforward portraiture into very imaginative images. One thing that the GCSE relies on is the area of research, or you might call it inspiration, where you find photographers or videographers, filmmakers, artists, that you like the look of and begin to base your work on the work that you find interesting from those people. There's also quite an interest in the technical sides of photography and we study in depth what the cameras can do and how we can control what the cameras do in order to make better work and to make the cameras do the kinds of things that we want. We also spend some time developing the vocabulary of photography or the language of photography so that students and I can have mature conversations about photography and exactly what they want to achieve using the right words. Once you understand concepts such as light temperature, exposure, focus, composition, you could begin to put together some quite exciting images. Not only do you get to control things like lighting, but you can also control how much of the photograph is in focus and really bring out the important aspects of the subject that you're interested in. Once you've developed some skills in photography, you can begin to determine what the images are going to look like before you even start and you can just achieve exactly what you want to do. In photography, you can use your imagination to come up with ideas and once you've developed technical skills, you can begin to create your own kinds of images which are unique to you. We're lucky at St Bede's in that the subject has been supported and you are able to achieve professional standards. Another aspect of the course is annotation and basically what this means is that you begin to analyse your work and think about what went well, what could do with improving and how you're going to develop your ideas in the next stage. In your annotation, you can discuss your ideas and objectives and compare and contrast your work with the work of your artist or inspiration. You can also edit your work using Photoshop and begin to develop your own unique 
slant on a subject to produce a final image which is unique to you. Looking at these images of shells, you can see how choosing your lighting and your background and your composition can completely change the mood of a picture. After a while, just getting used to photography, you can choose your own subject. And if hair and beauty is your particular thing, then this can be included in your portfolio of work. So if you're a creative person who uses photography a lot in your own life, and enjoys looking at images, perhaps you might like to give photography a chance.